weapons operation. Time to get it moving. And be quick about it. No daydreaming. Soon this team will be up and running. Focus. Stand right next to your Stop buddy. Work. Go check your buddy I'm out. Focus. Ah! focus is up to you. I'll handle it. Steam's blasting Whoa. out. It already overheated. Interesting. so I gotta watch out for the corruption. I forgot. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, let me, uh, Denethan, sorry. It was the cutscene. I just forgot after the cutscene. I'm sorry. I'm glad you mentioned that. It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> Hitting that thing really hurt it. Oh, come on, Aloy. What's the problem here? Clips officer had a focus. Let's see what's on it. Wait, let's get the other loot first. If that triggers a cutscene or something, I want to just run around real quick. What's in here? I'll just stick around so I don't forget Let's see again. What you have to say. What? What is this? 
The entity lives. Unacceptable. 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 Did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower. Yeah, this isn't climbable, is it? investigate the rubble <laughs> I'm still picking up loot and stuff but what what rubble I don't remember what it wants us to go look at investigate the rubble happy to keep looting supply crates here. Looks tight, but I can squeeze through. <clears throat> Hold for identity scan. Wait, wait, wait. Better late than never. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Compass will help indicate where lore drops are. Be looking around for other stuff too. Entangled waveforms. The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Quantum encryption, black quartz stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Black Quartz standard. Your words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. 
I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts Timor Swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. You might say that. How many days? However many it said. It was like 350 some odd thousand. color palette in here is just such a wash it's very blah conceptually cool to think about what was here and find the bits of lore that connect everything but I also thought there was more lore even on the lower floors Hey, uh, don't we find the third power cell in this trip up the Pharaoh Not a building? Statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill, and they honored it. Welcome to Pharaoh Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe. Pharaoh leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Pharaoh Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Pharaoh remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Pharaoh Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. I think this is a replay. What we heard, I'll move on if it is. Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the... Nice of them to cut it off. Reception log. July 7th, 2064. 9.54 a.m. Field Commandant Dang of the Indo-Malay Agricultural Combine arrived with his delegation. Refreshments to be served before their 10.15 a.m. sales presentation on the chariot line. Per instructions, food will be vegetarian only. 10.07 a.m. Sander Agnew, Vice President of Territorial Integrity from Fresh Grounds Coffee Global, arrived with his entourage. Refreshments to be served before their 10.30 a.m. sales presentation on the chariot line. Per instructions, we'll use Fresh Grounds Tacoma Blend, no artificial creamers. And 12 a.m. Uh, so that happened. Called security and janitorial to clean up the coffee that was spilled. Actually, more like thrown. I wasn't aware that the indo malay Combine grows coffee beans, and that Fresh Grounds acquisition team has tried to take their fields by force repeatedly. I think Commandant Dang and Agnew by the... had Agnew by the hair for a second there. Who schedules these things? I'm gonna drop a line to sales. This can't happen again. What was this place? What were they doing here? Bio, Elizabeth Sobek. Um, let me make sure. Did all these just pop up? The red reception log. Backwards here. Definition. Corporation. Association of individuals created under authority of law having existence, powers, and liabilities distinct from those of its members. In a business sense, corporation is usually owned by shareholders. 
for the sale or distribution of stock who profit from such ownership, vote at designated times for its governance, and designate executives who run its affairs. Most corporations engage in one or more industries to produce goods or offer services for profit and may in turn own other corporations, companies, or property as holdings. And according to a really fucked up ruling, corporations are people too. I can get stuffed. <clears throat> Faro Automated Solutions, FAS, is an American multinational corporate entity that produces robots for all walks of life. So its core business consists of military and defense contracts. As of 2063, FAS has ranked number one among the Fortune 5 by gross revenue and profit for 10 years in a row. World record, founded in 2033 by Theodore Ted Farrow, an entrepreneur from Salt Lake City, Utah. The company developed several promising robot prototypes in its early years, but failed to break into markets dominated by then industry giants like General Synthetics and RE Corp. This changed in 2038 with the debut of the Alfred line of levitating personal servitors, which generated exceptional sales, lifting the company onto the Fortune 50 for the first time. Profits tripled in the 2040s as the company's environmental efforts, led by famed engineer Elizabeth Sobeck, catapulted FAS to the head of that sector. In 2049, in the wake of successful green and climate cleanup efforts around the globe, worldwide approval ratings of FAS exceeded 90%, and founder Ted Farrow was hailed across media and social networks as the man who saved the world. Fuck you, Ted. Yet it was the emergence of FAS as a military contractor in the late 2040s that cemented its status as the world's wealthiest corporation, with a record market capitalization of over $23 trillion. By 2055, FAS controlled 61% of the market share for automated military platforms, holding contracts with 353 nations, transgovernmental organizations, and corporate entities. Today, its holdings exceed the second largest corporation, FB Mobihal Global, by 321%. <clears throat> Theodore Ted Farrow, fuck you, Ted, born December 24th, 2013, is an American entrepreneur and business magnet. He is the founder of Farrow Automated Solutions, the largest corporation of all time, the world's wealthiest individual, and the first ever trillionaire. Born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah, he enrolled at the University of California, Los Angeles, where he studied business for two years before dropping out in 2033 to start FAS. Though it struggled at first, the company broke through at the end of the troubled 2030s, with its popular lines of personal servitors and bodyguard bots, then exploded when its famous line of green robots led the race to solve the climate crisis during the 2040s. Clawback. At the end of that decade, FAS opened a military defense branch dominating the world market for automated military platforms by 2053. The success of FAS has made Mr. Farrow the world's best-known businessman, one of its most sought-after speakers, and a major voice in politics, culture, and international affairs. <clears throat> Elizabeth Sobeck, born March 11th, 2020. <clears throat> hey, that's yesterday. Uh, that's a year from yesterday. She'll be born a year from yesterday. That's kind of cool. We'll keep an eye out for her. An American scientist, roboticist, and engineer widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. Born and raised outside Carson City, Nevada, she enrolled at Stanford University at age 13, earning a BS in experimental physics and computer science at age 16. She completed her PhD in robotics and artificial intelligence design at Carnegie Mellon University in 2040 and joined Faro Automated Solutions as a junior scientist the same year, rising quickly to chief scientist at the age of 22. Over the next eight years, her green robot designs her green robot designs played a vital role in realizing the environmental cleanup and detoxification efforts of the clawback decade, <clears throat> propelling FAS to the forefront of its field. In 2048, she suddenly resigned from FAS, 
protesting the company's pivot to automated military technologies. In 2049, she founded Miriam Technologies, a firm devoted to life-positive robotics and other technologies. Miriam has since become one of the world's largest suppliers of green robots, winning numerous awards and accolades, including the 2053 Nobel Prize for Physics and the 2056 Rachel Carson Award for Environmental Progress. Um, and did we just pick this one up too, or had we read this, this like from the beginning of the game? saw the bodies laying around in the facility and they were talking about their final days. I think this is separate. I'll read this anyways in case it was just picked up. From Director Evans to all, subject all good things. To all staff, I regret to inform you that our worst fears have been realized. The Wichita salient has collapsed and our position will be overrun in less than 24 hours. As I'm sure you understand, exfiltration transport is not available. If you wish to abandon the facility and try your luck on foot, you may do so. Lock 2 will unseal at 2100 hours and remain unsealed for 15 minutes. Godspeed. We did read this before. It's not from Barrow Building. <clears throat> this is from the, uh, the facility Aloy fell into as a child and came back to as an adult. Those of us who'd rather not die on our feet, there will be a gathering in the community room at 2200 hours, and Nurse Chana will make other means available. Yeah, that's... We've been there. Read that. It was a corporation. A group of people, not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. And they'll help you understand. Already on it. Let's check side rooms for lore before we hit the stairs or what's left of them. R&D, lab retooling. Now I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Pharaoh Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me, we will be exploiting a massive, uh, growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, and they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Humans to Why? use. We hadn't done that in a long time. Trust you, Ted? No. Fuck you, Ted. The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. then like come down curious uh -huh. spot brings up the exterior map I may get a bit lost in here and wander. We came up these stairs. I wanted to explore back there. We just did. Let's move forward and check the right as we go. Yeah, the power cell up top. Top, up top. Where we came in. We don't want to go back down, of course. We can't climb up there. I got turned around already. Told you that would happen. Turn right. Go this way, and then check the right. I'll be hitting the map a lot here. 
Jay Friedkin, text mail. Regarding complaint. Remember that coffee incident in reception? Hey, reception, if that is your real name. Want to know who scheduled indo Malay right next to Fresh Grounds? That would be me, Senior VP of Sales. Want to know why? After that little hair-pulling incident, both sides increased their bids by 40%. I'll explain, because your receptionist level brain probably requires it. Those two sides are fighting. And what do we sell? That's right, combat machines. We want them to hate each other. So they will try to fight each other with what? That's right, again, combat machines. Which they will pay us a lot of money for. So I suggest you go back to serving coffee with a blank smile and let me do my much more complicated job. Thanks a bunch, Mr. Friedkin, to you. Boy, he's a nice guy. Get through. <laughs> but if you insist, just don't throw it at anyone. Hey, Drake Tall. No! Oh! But I can use that as a ramp to get back up. No, because we fell all the way to the ground level. Damn you, Aloy! That wasn't cool. Oh! Oh, are you kidding me? It wasn't supposed to fall two levels. It was only supposed to fall one level. Inconvenient. What kind of RNG causes her to stumble an extra level all the way to the bottom. This got me. That was genuine surprise, although it surprised me before. And the moment it surprised me again, I kind of remembered that it had gotten me before. Looks like I can climb here. Let's explore this level before we it looks go like up. the way up. What's left of it? This level's cool. This room is cool. There's some good stuff in here. Before we hit the terminals, is there anything around the outside? The FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Biomass. Multilinear target processing conversion. provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. Or control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. So this was the heavy hitter. Main battle force indeed. The BOR 
R7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus' onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were farm machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more of themselves. And they but do. How would you ever stop them? Yeah. How? The ACA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. Sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. Yeah. This will come in handy. Spiritual Summit. Text mail from Ted Farrell. Paula Vasara. Paula. Recent events have sharpened my perspective, and I think that I, and FAS in general, have been neglecting the spiritual side of things. Not under any specific religious framework, of course, but in a more general sense, as in not giving enough thought to our shared values, hopes, and aspirations for the afterlife. I'd like you to reach out to religious leaders of every stripe with the intention of scheduling a conference soon. Very soon. I'll have more thoughts about the agenda later, but for now, let's put out some feelers and see if we can lock something in. Make it a big tent. No kooks, but anyone with a credible audience. Let's go deluxe. Make it clear we'll spare no expense. It worked out great for Jurassic Park. Thanks, Ed. Spare no expense. FAS Campus Log. Some corruption. High priority alert. Automated log note. All non-essential systems have entered hibernation. High priority alert. Automated log note. Full lockdown has been initiated. High priority alert. Due to the increasing frequency of violent protests targeting the campus, the security of FAS employees can no longer be guaranteed. Therefore, we have taken the difficult decision to shutter this facility indefinitely. Staff will be briefed on a block-by-block -block basis regarding proper procedure for archiving and or disposal of project-related data and materials. ISEC and a crisis team will then conduct exit review before all areas are locked down. Priority messaging to all staff in E and F blocks. Treat the current lockdown situation as an exercise, but do not attempt to release the hatches or otherwise exit the buildings. A reminder that while HiSec personnel remain committed to employee safety during the current unfortunate events, personal firearms must be relinquished when presenting for identiscan. Additional public access roads en route to the campus have now been closed to relieve waiting time at the outer security cordons. HiSec remains all staff, reminds all staff that the campus remains off limits to the public. 
Following recent campus security issues, all staff are reminded that presenting for identity scan and displaying your security badge prominently at all times for image analytics are both mandatory. In light of recent acts of terrorism directed at the rapid transit system, HiSec now offers a Big Brother initiative to accompany staff traveling from off-site. Sign up is required and strongly encouraged. 48 more entries in high priority, additional entries corrupted. Thankfully, they were... Glad I don't have 48 more entries to read. I'm angry at Faro, at the corporation. They blame this place for something. Something bad. Yeah. Something bad. Next level. the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, guess I can too. That shaft continued to go up, didn't it? This continued to go up and why? Let me investigate a little bit. I don't remember precisely what's where, so let's look before we go up anymore. They're both going up. This is the way forward and up. What about the other way? What would the other way have taken us to? I'm curious. I want to go check it out. I can't remember, so. Stupid! That was equally dumb. Just attaching a few times. Just kept going. How different is it? Does it take us to the same spot? We just otherwise come up to that point? The same place? It is the same place. Two ways to get up here. It's a weird branch for uh, the whole thing's fairly linear, so to have one branch is just huh? Okay. Since the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats. And by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you, is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. And a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. We're gonna be destroying a few things in our pack again soon to make room. <clears throat> oh, and I'm not even getting half-price shards because we don't have the skill for disassembly. 
I didn't even think about that, right? We don't have the one that's given us... It doesn't matter, but... Um, oh, we do. It's up here. Yeah, shard salvager. Disassemble resources and get... So could you not even disassemble before you have that? Maybe that's it. Anyways, we're going to have to disassemble stuff. Regardless of what we get. I need to make room. Spare the weight. Oh. So that's one thing I'd like to see tweaked in a sequel. Aloy will drop if once once she determines what handhold she's going to jump to and grab. Let's say you have handholds here, like three of them. You're jumping from here. You might jump high enough to grab the second or almost the third, but if it's locked in that she's gonna grab the bottom one, what happens is she does this weird short jump, drops short, and then grabs the bottom one, even though you had enough clearance to get to the second one or higher. That happens a lot. Kinda makes your stomach jump into your throat, but it works most of the time, but it's a little awkward. If she could be better about jumping to the closest node at her height, that would be great. All hands on deck. From Gordon Nakata to Gina Z Zierman. Gina, ever hear of the Melville Island Fruit Association? Neither had I, until they filed suit against us this morning. Apparently, there's a little island paradise off the coast of Australia, population 2,700, all of whom hate us, now that a stray hearts Timor unit is chowing down on their largest mango orchard. That brings the official count of Heart Timor related lawsuits to 127, most of them from private companies, but also a bunch from individuals, nation states, and NGOs. And that's not even counting the mother of all liability claims from Hearts itself. Call every external firm we've ever used, then call their competitors. We're gonna need every corporate defense lawyer we can find who's still half sober and on the bar. Associate General Counsel, FAS. They screwed up and they knew it. Like, ugh. I guess that's an example. Maybe she couldn't have reached that bar, but she knew as soon as I jumped that she was going for a lower bar, and I didn't. I thought I was going for the one she's on now. So when she plummeted six feet to grab the low one, it's... Oh! Here we are again. We've got a way out and a way up that may just take us to the same place. That's where we would have come up if we'd gone the other way in the shaft. I'm not going to backtrack this time to confirm that, but it seems like it. They must have put... Yeah, that's five, six, that's at least seven two singles, and then that five stack. A lot of health potions that we can't pick up. Can't break through that, right? Oh, it's this one. Snow. That's where we're getting tomorrow here. 
a lot of rain and snow. Vanda <clears throat> Sea Incident. From Stacy Anders to Robert Rescher. Subject Dolphin Vid. Bob, another problem to add to our big steaming pile. Apparently a fisherman in the Banda Sea captured video of a Hearts Timor Horus unit refueling via biomatter conversion along the shoreline of Pulau Wittar on a pod of endangered dolphins, no less. Quite possibly the last of their kind. Not to get graphic, but it looks like what happens inside a blender, as if the robot was whipping up a big pink swirling milkshake of dolphin chum. Our suppression team has scrubbed it from 43 networks, but it's still propagating, so it's only a matter of time before it goes viral. A prepared statement feels grossly insufficient. Any suggestions? This one's a real stinker. Stacy Anders, VP, PR, FAS. Hey, Jake. Here's to you, man. Welcome. You doing all right? Hopefully. You're so hyped. What's up? Got something cool going yeah. on? All it takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. Our cell is up there. Let's see if we can climb right to it. Yeah, who mentioned that? Um, Halo Master Chief coming to PC. That's pretty cool. I'm not. I don't remember. Did he say when it was? Do you know when it's coming? Did they say. If you're doing the ancient armor quest in this game and you're wondering where the third power cell is, it is right here. I keep finding these power cells. What do they do? Get you a cool suit of arms. You know, there's enough stuff here to hate Ted Pharaoh forever and ever and ever. But it just gets so much worse, doesn't it? Bad data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. said soon. I, I doubt it's a joke. All the journal. Requests. These are the ones from... Yeah, so what did it just place in the journal? Maybe none of them have popped up yet. And the data point. Right, we got a, a little bit at a time. Elizabeth, good to, uh, it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up to something big or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So, spit it out. There's... a glitch in the chariot line. You're killing yeah. robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data, then. And I'll take that lunch... alone. 
Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Well, it's easy to explain why she hated him. He's Ted Faro. This He's a real a schmuck. Glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's oh, bad. you're not. You're bad. not fully aware. Jesus. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. Not really limited. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking the fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth, but somehow she defeated them. Well, the world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final thought. way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now Can't hide this, fucker. I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. All on you, Ted. I'll sign. She did have to threaten you. Fuck you, Ted. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. You probably won't. Not you, Ted. Not you. What made her solution so terrible. What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. Your three zettabyte storage rack, six percent power remaining. Top of the world, Ma. Should have brought a cart. Was in there? We couldn't grab wire. All right, I'll make room for wire. Thank you, Jake. Tiny meat. Those well, is probably not a good idea to just jump. Maybe we'll get a paraglider in the 
Big one. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. Is that your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. One she chose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. <clears throat> All right, Silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Or did she? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Catalina boy, hello. Yeah, she kind of has that lockjaw thing. Her jaw's wired shut. Hmm. All right, let's start with a really silly question. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Uh. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Now, if that's enough talking, be on your way. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. Got a point. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? 
years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this... personal? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades? It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. You said you've known for some time that Faro war machines destroyed the civilization of the old ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of? Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists, as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, Ooh. and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next, to learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. And netted two skill points so we can pick up order. Now we have some more room. And we've got one point on our way to triple shot. I'd like to eventually pick up the strong strike improvements as well. sent to the Grave Horde, even though that's near where you pass through into the DLC area, it's its own thing. Maybe we'll spend the remainder of this stream kind of working our way east. Main quest, we still have two things open. Durval. I don't know, maybe we'll maybe I won't decide yet. Drop us. 
stopping. I can stop squinting against the white. Anything here? No. for that merchant. What are we doing on fox skin? Did we only have the one? Gotta remember not to sell it. And who knows? We'll find a fox or two on the way. Behemoth hearts. <laughs> Wonder what, if anything, needs behemoth hearts. Raid. Maybe nothing. Bell walker, watcher, strider, fellow back charger, long leg grazer. Yeah. Hmm. Well, what do we have Suffix. here? Suffix. Welcome aboard. Thank you for the follow. having the extra room it still feels full oh, we probably only have eights in our outfit right now no but we have nine and nine okay well, we're not gonna swap in eights we can at least sell those saving this for no good reason because it has the handling on it. I think, oh, I'll put it on... I'm not going to put it anywhere. I think we already have 40s on our bow. Corruption bow. At 41, 43, and 44. Could bump it up. Uh, we don't have the skill to take them out without destroying them, but it's not much of a loss. But in 46... As a little shock, air won't really do much, but yeah. Nice, 43. This one was just 43. So the other corruption, we got 41, 41, 37. All right, it bumped it up just a little bit. 
open the shock up just a little bit. of the stream we should either head towards Meridian or start heading east and we go deal with Derval first before we go to the Grave Horde so let's make our way south I don't really want to go through a bandit camp right now but head south Fill the medicine pouch back up. Hey, that's a fox. I need the fox. I need the fox. I got the chickens off Aloy's back. Fox bone. Yeah, blue, we need the skin. Nice. Lots of boar. Dinner's on me. This is silly. <laughs> we get so many boar right next to each other. Water's moving fast. Washing our boar away. I wasn't planning on taking out a bandit camp right this minute. But I guess we could just do that. Um, we'll have a save spot and another merchant. And... up the whole camp. No, oh, it won't. I did hear that. <laughs> you did? Well, you better come check it out then. You think you heard something. Making great noises. Shit, where'd my little patch of grass go? They're still looking. to leave something else behind.
come on. No, 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 no. Oh. Still sniffing around. Next time we jumped outside the walls of the camp, but. We'll re enter. Show yourself, you miserable chop. Looking spear. Bet we can't borrow that. I wasn't sure about that one. You might. You can see them. They can't. If you find a body with an arrow in the face, you might have a man down. That's too much of an alert. Damn. Let's let's roll out. See if she, she loses sight of Aloy here. Ideally, she'll come all the way to investigate. Get out there and look, Lars. No, oh, I missed. Damn. Too bad. That accomplished nothing! <laughs> Too bad someone spotted us, though. Explosives at each other? Okay. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! The, the arc actually shortened there. Or not. Message coming in. Patching it through. Gangstar, thank you for the host. Oh! 
That was in a very bad place. You don't want to get a sticky bomb there. Robo Dino hunting's going well. Hope you're doing all right. Yeehaw. I don't care if you think it's superstition. Red Maw has crushed all the bodies. Time to go clean up all the bodies. That's proof enough. Perfect weather for a More than enough ridge wood. I should not be picking it up just for a little while. We don't need a thousand. Five hundred, seven fifty, somewhere in there is good. It goes quickly, and we're using a lot. So, this far from the Savage East. Forget about traveling light. Yeah, after you clean up a large kill zone, machines or a bandit camp or whatever, you end up with a lot of loot to collect. I actually like that part quite a bit. After machine fights more so than bandit camps, this is not exactly spoils of battle in the same way. But when machine parts are scattered all over and you have to take five minutes to go pick them all up, I actually think that's pretty fun. Look at all the destruction! A little sweat and hard work never hurt it. Still can't pick up. We haven't done any fast traveling, but I'll buy that when we have the fox skin that we need. And if we're gonna pick up the Blazon outfit, we need Charger Hearts. I should start killing some Chargers, Grazer Hearts. If um, we get Sickness Eater. has made it teeth less so. Oh. oh. Cause for concern. Farewell. Really? We haven't cleared all the bandit camps, have we? There, that the last one? Oh, come on, was it? Man, I guess so. That's why Nil's on the map. Let's go talk to Nil. What are we gonna do this time? We've we've it's our third playthrough here, so we've already explored both options. What are we gonna do this time round? I 
think we should make sure that Nil sticks around for a while. Ah, uh, she went that away. It's so bittersweet. Like a smile for the bloody teeth. What's the matter? You look disappointed. Our psychopathic acquaintance. Oh, the bandit clans are gone. I hear another turned back at the Southern Plains, just at a sniff of the legend we carved. That's what all this bloodshed was for, to end the bandit threat. But now there's nothing left to kill, unless... No, no. I guess this is our last farewell. After all we've been through, this isn't the place for that. There's a mesa south of Meridian with a view of the spear shafts. Meet me there. He wants one final encounter. Emphasis on the final. Talk to Nil, but we can't just talk to him again here, so. But I think this time I might refuse to, to fight him. He'll be around later if we do, for something. Hey, chargers, we need charger hearts. So we're gonna wrap in a minute or two or five. But let's go to that campfire and see if we... If I can remember at the start of our next stream. Um, it should be Thursday, not tomorrow, but Thursday. We can, uh, maybe we can get a couple charger hearts. Did it work? It didn't work. It kind of works. You got... You got an ineffective... Oh, wow! That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Here, let me tag this before I die. There's a bunch of chargers. That was fucking beautiful. Oh my god. Come my way. Come my way. Come on. Come on. some it's walking very slowly towards us hey Hello? two charger hearts exactly what we needed we're getting a new outfit um at the start of the next stream like, uh, we can go get the outfit right now and go wrap back up at the camp there that works for me The Blazon or the Sickness Eater? I don't remember which. It's one of those two. Looking outfit. Let's put mods in it. 33 resist fire happens to have some resist ranged and corruption in it. Sweet. 19. 
our fire resist could be better, but pretty good. Got fire, ice, sparks, and stealth. Grazer, we need a Grazer Hearts next, so let's save so here. We still need a Wrap for the day. And uh, I'm aiming for Thursday. Now, tomorrow, I'm supposed to be working all day, but we're also supposed to have a bit of a snowstorm. So if work gets shut down early, we might have a stream tomorrow. Otherwise, Thursday, uh, today, Thursday, Saturday, and we'll probably have to do that again next week. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Greg Tall, enjoy the spaghetti. Traders spaghetti and coffee. Years, and now we're supposed to put down our weapons One at a time, smile. hopefully. Hey, One at a time. And my best friend, the thick and thin. We've always been together. We fall over town, having fun all day. Everything at once. Turn around and laughing away. Just best friends. Best friends are we. <laughs> I love you guys. Sorry, right, I was out of sync there. I was absorbing everything going on. I Cheers, let me up. DJ. Just gifted a sub to the demon. Be, be careful. Did Oh, you did a random sub gift. And the, the demon got it. That That's pretty funny. Well. Well, Mia, you'll have to tell us what the demon thinks of that. Thank you, DJ. Cheers to you, man. Thank you very much. A woman is rising in the ranks of the hunter's lodge. Hell, it's a new day. Cheers to you all. Thanks for the good company, as always, for the host love and sub support. See you guys on the flip side. Cheers, everyone. Have a good night.